I'm going to start the lesson and today we'll be talking about family relationships and all these different things connected to that, okay? So I've got three questions for you, all right? The first question is, how many people are there in your family? Okay. The second question is, what do you think is the best size for a family? One person, two people, 10 people, 20 people. Okay. And the third question, do you discuss relationships with anyone in your family? What was the first question? How many people are in your family? Perfect. Thank you, Galena. And the second question? Uh, best sides of uh, family, how yeah. many people? Yeah. Do you think there is a correct answer? Correct answer, wrong answer? No. 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 Your, no. your opinion. No. Yeah. And the third question? Do you remember Misaki? Um. <laughs> Do you discuss... Do you discuss a relationship in, in your no. f with somebody in your family? Yeah, um, so I'll put the questions for you on the chat, okay? Um, can you see the chat? Do you know where is the chat? It's down there, you have the button called chat. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, just in case you have the questions there. Now, what we're going to do now is you're going to talk to somebody from the group, okay? You will have two minutes to talk. Is that all right? I'll take you to breakout rooms. Please don't get shocked. It will happen automatically <laughs> if you don't know what that is, okay? Uh, should we discuss all three questions with As somebody? much as you have time. If you can, okay. three. If not, the first one is enough. Yeah. Okay, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And uh, how could I call your name? Uh, my name is Galina. 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 And Kanae. you? Can I? Call me Kanae. Yes. Uh, uh, my dad and uh, three siblings. And I'm a third child. What about you? Um, there is, um, there is a four in my family, uh, my two child, two sons, uh, my wife and me. And I think that the best size for family is five or six. Mm -hmm. Because there is a, um, two sons and two daughters. It's perfect for me. And uh, okay, uh, can I just interrupt for a second. Sorry. So, Flavio, you don't need to answer three questions. You need to have a dialogue with the people. Okay. 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 <sighs> Olga is not talking. Why don't you ask Olga a question? Okay, ask Olga something. How okay. many people are there in your family? You have to look when you have a conversation, you need to ask a question, not just answer. Okay, <laughs> right. So, That's important the question. <laughs> Can I start now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my family has uh, many people. <laughs> It's uh, me and my husband, my daughter with uh, her husband, my son with uh, her wife, uh, his wife and his uh, son and my mother, my sister and uh, my sister family. Uh, my family now uh, location 50-50, uh, 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 half in the Ukraine, half of family in Ukraine, in Kyiv and half family anywhere, somewhere out Ukraine, out of Ukraine. Uh, so. Okay, so how, how many people? 
Uh, many, many, many people because my family it's uh, we uh, live in and um, a lot a lot of Irish uh, a mm -hmm. lot of Irish people have uh, uh, three children it's uh, ah. so mm -hmm. so interesting <laughs> usually <laughs> mo yeah, mostly of our... is, hmm. is it common three children in your country uh, uh, once more please Okay. Hi. You need to Hello. unmute yourself when you come back from the rooms. Okay. Right. So, Misaki, tell us the most interesting fact you heard. Uh, Olga? Yeah. Sorry, I don't know how to call your name. Um, yes. My, sorry, my fact? or you know, A fact about your partners, the most interesting fact. Uh, Olga? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. She's got really a uh, big family. I I couldn't count how many. <laughs> <laughs> really I I can count. You you need to. I I will. Ten, count. twenty. How many people? <laughs> ten, ten people. Ten, ten is ten. good. Wow. Yeah, ten. Yeah. But it's big. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you. And Galina, what about from your room? Uh, what was the interesting fact that you remember? Uh, we uh, we discussed only two questions about uh, okay. size or size of family in our country, Japan yes. and Ukrainian, and about uh, uh, our own family. Yes. What's the interesting <laughs> fact, please? Uh, interesting fact. Nothing. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what did uh, can I tell you what's the perfect size for a family for her? Uh, for can I? Yeah. Uh it's uh it's three it's parents and children. Oh, lovely. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take a look at one little thing here. So Can you see the three words? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, I would like you to listen and tell me, what do I say here where you have ER? Okay. Listen. Daughter, mother, father. What do I say? Do I say er? Er. Uh, Just my uh. daughter. So we don't really say this. Okay, we say a uh, daughter. Okay, daughter. can you repeat? Repeat daughter. 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 Mother. 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 Father. 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 Okay, great. So remember, in English, we don't really say daughter, daughter, or something like that. Okay, so um, Olga. Do you have a daughter? Yes, I have. Ah. I have a... I have a do daughter. Very good. Okay, thank you. And Flavio, do you have a daughter? I don't have daughter yet. <laughs> Very nice. You will, you will. Okay. <laughs> I heard you want a few daughters. Yeah. Okay, okay, guys, thank you. So we'll move on. And I have another question for you to discuss. And it is... Who do you think knows you better, your family or your friends? And why? Okay, so when somebody knows you better, can it mean that they tell you some secrets? Or you tell them secrets? Yes, no? Sure. Maybe. Okay. okay. And if a person knows you better, so, for example, if I say my best friend knows me better, so if I have a problem in my life, will I talk to my best friend then? Best friend outside our family or best friend? Yeah, outside. Outside. Oh, my best friend knows me better, so I tell her about my problems and everything. Yeah. Okay. My opinion about that, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. So, who knows you better? 
your family members, or your friends. Okay, so discuss this with your partner. You have one minute. Okay. What? Well, minute to what? One minute. One minute. Talk to your partner and tell them who knows you better, your okay. family or your friends. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Uh, uh, I, I think that uh, my, my husband knows me better because mm -hmm. we spent uh, a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, I can say that my husband is my best friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Yeah, in my case, my mother knows very well about me. Yeah, because without without in, in the park, without any anywhere, and we con discuss about problems and discuss about uh, about uh, our life and the school or work. Yeah, mm. my family is the best know about me. Yeah, I agree. Mean, uh, me too. It's I'd say it's family, especially my sister. Um, I can I can tell her anything. Like I I don't usually um talk about my relationship with my parents, but mm -hmm. I can do to my sister, and so I'd say my best best person is my sister. Yeah. Your sister, and you, it's close. Yeah, get along with Bill. Good, good. I can say anything I want <laughs> to her. Good relationship. Sorry, you have about Olga. Yeah. <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah. Okay, guys, sorry. Watch the time because the time finishes. Yeah. Make sure that if you have one minute, don't talk for 40 seconds because then the other people will not get to talk. Okay. <laughs> right. So, uh, who knows you better, your family or your friends? Can I? What about you? In my case, my family, family. especially right. my mom. Okay, all right. And Flavia, what about you? Family or friends? Families. All right. Galena? The same, my husband and my family. Oh, yeah. well, your husband is your family. So. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Saki, what about you? Can't hear you, you're muted. Unmute? Yeah, yeah. who knows? My family. Your family. My family. And Olga, what about you, your family or your friends? We can't hear you. Unmute microphone. Yeah, who knows you better? My family better. Family. Well, I can also say that my family knows me better, especially my husband, just like Galina said, and my mom as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to read a text about a very interesting experiment. Okay, but first I want to help you with some words that can be difficult in the text. I will show you some words and definitions and you need to match the words and the definitions. You will have one minute. You can take a piece of paper and a pen and you can write down the answers there. Let's do the first one together. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many sentences can you see? Four. That's right. Thank you. So let's try and do the first one together. I usually work in England, but sometimes I work abroad too. So abroad, which meaning is it? A, B, C or D? C. That's right. It is. Okay. So I will just write on my paper one C. 
Okay. Now I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do number two, three, and four by yourself. Okay. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. So you only write your answer, okay? So you can write 2D if you like. You don't need to tell now, okay? It's a secret. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now can you try and find the chat? Find the chat. And can you write your answer in the chat? So just write number two. Okay. D. Okay, anybody knows number three? Only Galena knows? What about the other people? <laughs> okay. Four. Okay. Okay, so 1C, 2D, 3A, and 4B. Do you agree with these answers? Everybody has the same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, all right. Let's see here. Intelligent. So, is it a synonym to the word clever? Synonym? Mm -hmm. The same meaning? Sí. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But is it a word which shows that your English level is a little bit better? So, you, your English is... Because anybody can say, oh, he's clever. But only if your English is good, you can say, oh, he's intelligent, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. so try to use the word intelligent, not clever, all right? Okay. Now, the wrong kind of girl. Do you think that mothers always think that their sons choose the wrong kind of girl? <laughs> 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 True. Mostly, mostly. <laughs> yeah. So the girl needs to be perfect to be good for the perfect son, right? <laughs> okay. So what you're going to do now is we're going to read a text about the experiment. So you're going to read the introduction to the text and you have four questions to answer you will do it on your own not with your partner okay so i have these four questions for you i'll put them on the chat can you see the questions yes mm -hmm. yes okay can you read the questions do you understand the questions Yes. Okay, so I am going to give you one minute to read the text and answer these questions. Should you just remember your answer or should you write it down in your paper? Uh, teacher. Yeah. Uh, what's the mean? Risha, this moo, moo, moo. Yeah, moo. Mom. Mom, yeah. Mother. Ma oh, okay. Yeah. Mom is the short word for mother. Yeah. Okay. And what is the short word for father? Dad. 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 That's right. Okay. okay. Good. So, these four questions, please write down the answer from the text. All right? All right. Good. One second. So, let's read. Here we go.
Okay, you have 20 seconds left. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. If you didn't have enough time, <laughs> I can see Olga and Flavio are shocked. <laughs> so you will now get to check your answers with your partners. Okay, so how many questions do we need to check? Oh, guys, you're all muted. Sorry, I muted you so you don't disturb each other. How many questions do you need to check? Four questions. Four questions. Is it okay if you don't remember something? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So let's go. I can. Uh, I want to say that I uh, didn't hear the. Uh, <laughs> and um, who? Who? First questions. Who is Richard? Do you Richard? remember? Uh, yeah, R Richard is man, uh, twenty six years old, and uh, he is uh, a musician man from South, uh, South Hampton. Hampton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Danny, Danny, it's uh, his best friend. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and third questions about. Uh, what? Oh, I don't remember exactly. Check, uh, check the questions on the chat. I've put them for you. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, Darina. I, uh, what uh, do Richard's mom and Danny try to do? Uh, the kind of, I only remember the kind of sentence. There are several candidates and two people, I think. Therefore, yeah, Richard need to decide to, to okay, pass on to two candidates and which is better for him, mm -hmm. who is better to pass on to him. Um, and the Richard mom not well. Hello. Hi. Hello. We have one more student. It's Zahra. Hello, Zahra. Hello. Connecting. Okay, you take your time. We were just reading a little text and we're checking the answers to it. Okay. So, um, who is Richard? Uh, Galina? Who is Richard? <laughs> Uh, Richard is 26 years old man, a musician from Southampton. Uh, and and she, she's, uh, he's, he's looking a uh, girl uh, yeah. for him. Yeah. So when a person doesn't have a partner, how do we call this person? They single, are single, single man. Right. So not single man, because women can also be single. So Richard mm -hmm. is single, single. Mm -hmm. but, okay and who is danny flavio um i response just to one question <laughs> you were just checking your answers with your partner so who is danny is it his father okay. richard's father i don't remember all right no worries can i who is danny mm, someone's best friend Friend, right. So is it Richard's best friend? Best friend. Yeah, very good. Okay. And what do Richard's mom and Danny try to do? Uh, Misaki? Um, I didn't put the answer yet. Okay, no worries. Who, who can answer this? Who knows the answer? Um, yeah. Can... Yeah, you can try, Galina. Uh, Richard's uh, mom and uh, his best friend try to uh, 
choose the best girl for Danny. For Richard. For, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Danny, yeah. For Richard. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's the experiment. So the mother will choose a girlfriend and his best friend will choose a girlfriend. He will go on a date, romantic date with two girls different dates and then he will decide who knows him better his mother or his best friend mm -hmm. okay cool i like it okay what does richard have to do i think i already told you but um olga what does richard have to do um unmute yourself please Richard is, uh, uh, has uh, to uh, go on a to go on a date. Go on a date. On a date, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And one date or two dates? One date. No, two. Two girls, two dates. Oh. Richard and two girls on one date is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. So um, we're going to find out now what happens. Okay, so you will now read what Richard says. Uh, so you need to answer true false sentences. Um, if the sentence is false, you need to correct it with information from the text. If it is true, you need to say why it is true from the text. Okay, so if the sentence is false, do you need to correct it? Yes. Mm -hmm. If the sentence is true, do you simply write true and go to the next sentence? No, to give the no. reason. Yes, the reason, please. Uh, I'm going to give you around three, four minutes here. Okay, so you have enough time to read. Don't worry. Okay, let us try to do the first one together. Okay, so let me show you this on screen. One second. All right, so the first one here, he sometimes travels with his job. This is true because in the text here, we have, I usually work in England, but sometimes I work abroad too. Okay, so this is number one. Mm -hmm. All right, so can you now do the other ones? Number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Go ahead. One more minute for you. Okay, guys, you're all muted. Can you tell me if you're finished or if you like another 30 seconds? Finished? Finished. Yeah. All right, that's great. Now, can I ask you to maybe use your phone and take a picture of this? Because you will be checking your answers now. Can you take a picture? Mm -hmm. Or I can also send you this to the chat. So see what you like better. A picture? Shut. Okay. Okay. If you're using your phone, you will not be able to download the document. 
but if you can you see the document on the chat mm -hmm. you can click to open it okay right so i'm going to give you two minutes to check your answers in pairs or in your group okay 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 hi love you hi hi what hi, we Zaki. need to do uh, i just check our answers answer is it true or false most yeah i'm a little bit confused yeah me too yes let me help you the second question he's friendly and extrovert is it true or is it false you need to discuss together okay okay what do you think okay actually i i can't not say false because he says he's open and friendly but he doesn't like uh, he preferred to meet I have a problem with my internet, maybe. Sorry. It's okay. You can... okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Uh, where where uh, table uh, for uh, answer? You have it here. Yeah. You can use... Just discuss that, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. About the uh, second question, uh, he he's friendly and he's friendly and extrovert. Yeah, it's true or false? It's true. Yeah, in the second absatz, with um, I think I'm open and friendly. I get on well. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I I think uh, he he is not extrovert because sometimes he is uh, quite shy and um, he likes to meet uh, friends with um, individual or small groups I, I uh, but uh, second ah uh, okay uh, he likes music and party uh, i don't like going to parties going to parties uh, yeah uh, it's not uh, true S third question yeah yes and he he likes uh, the music uh, because he prefers uh... okay we'll talk together now okay right so can everyone unmute yourselves please okay so Let's see, we know the first one, yeah? The first one is true. Yes. Yes. Let's see the second one. So, he is friendly and extrovert. Is that true or false? False. Okay, uh, Fabio, no. why do you think so? Because he isn't extroverted. But he is friendly. He's friendly. He's nice. Um, and also here we have this, I am sometimes quite shy. What is it shy? Oh. Do you get red cheeks if Cheek, you're shy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're not comfortable, right? Okay, so that would be number two. Number three, he likes music and parties. I think everyone said that this is... It's false. 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 Oh, really? Is it false? <laughs> okay. For example, for example, and I don't like going to parties. Doesn't like going to parties. That's right. Okay. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Number four. True or false? True. True. Misaki, do you know why? Uh, because he said. Um, he said. He prefer a woman with stuck hair who are not taller than taller than him. Not taller than him. I prefer right. women with oh, yeah. yeah. Not taller than me. He wants too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number five. 
He likes women who talk a lot. Is that true or false? False. False. Okay. And um, let's see. Uh, can I? Why is it false? And uh, I like women who are good to listen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but you're not can I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Number six. Um, can I? What do you think? Is it true? False? True. Number six. True. Okay. Listen. Listen to your name. Okay. When I say Fabio, Fabio talks. Okay. So uh, can I? Can you tell me why is six true? Only can I. Okay. Uh, this information. Is written on this article yeah, from yeah. the last paragraph. Yeah, what is it? What is the information? Uh, I uh, one, two, three, third yeah. line. I don't usually talk to my. Um, yeah, that's paragraph. right. Thank you. Thank you. And the last one, number seven, is it true or false? Everybody, true or false? Seven? True. True. Okay. True. Galina, why is it true? Uh, because uh, his mother thinks that uh, uh, he looks for the wrong kind of girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All mothers think like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. So this is what happened. Um, we don't know what happens with Richard. But I hope that his mom uh, chooses the right girlfriend for him. <laughs> now, we will try to match make single people. Now, what is it match make? Now, I'll help you with the word. Look, I know somebody who is single. A friend of mine, okay? And Misaki knows somebody who is single. So I know a girl and Misaki knows a guy. And together with Misaki, we talk about it and we decide that my friend and her friend should go on a date and get to know each other. Okay? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if we match make, are we trying to help people find a partner? It's like yes. Cupid. It's like Angel Cupid. Like a Cupid, yeah. <laughs> so you okay, want to be Cupids I... now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what I would like you to do is, you're going to work with the same partner. So Olga, you will be with Galina. Flavio, Kanai and Misaki, you'll be together. Okay. So Misaki, Kanai and Olga, you need to think of a woman you know. Okay, who is single? Maybe a friend of yours. Uh, maybe if if all your friends are not single, maybe some celebrity who is single, or maybe it's a friend who wants to get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Flavio and Galina, you need to think of a man who is single and who you know. Mm -hmm. So. Think of a person you know pretty well. Can it be a family member? Yes, no? No, no. Well, if you have a brother who is single, why not? Yeah. And mm -hmm. I will give you some questions to help you prepare. I'll give you a minute to prepare, okay? So think about these when you prepare. So. What's the name of the person? How old they are? Where do they live? Do they smoke? What do they like? What do they not like? Maybe they really like it when a person dances all the time. Okay, so one minute for you to prepare. Please take some notes and then you'll talk to your partner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you please take a picture of the screen, maybe with your phone, so you have the questions to help you? Or you can take a screenshot if you like. 
So now you will have around three, four minutes to talk to your partner about your single friends or family members. So tell them a little bit and then decide if these two people can be together. Okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, one moment. Can I? Sure, yeah. Uh, I will be a matcher. Yeah. You will uh, be a matchmaker. Matchmaker. Yeah. I will be. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You will be. All of us will be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, Flavio, you talk about a guy, and Misaki and Kenai talk about two girls they know, right? Um, Olga, you talk about a lady or a man? Can't hear you. <laughs> unmute, unmute. Microphone. It's okay. Can you repeat? Um, Olga. Man. Uh, a man. Man. And Alina, what about you? Uh, uh, I should describe man. A man. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So then, Olga, you'll talk with. Misaki and uh, Galina and Flavia, you'll have two men. That's all right. No problem. We'll change it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So let's go. 40, 48 uh, years old. Uh, he is the doctor. Uh, mm -hmm. He. Mm, uh, he lives in Kiev. He mm -hmm. lives in Kiev. Uh, he uh, like uh, likes uh, his uh, her, um, his job, and uh, he is introvert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he likes uh, uh, be at home. Uh, so he is not tall. He is middle size. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, he he is uh, handsome and uh, he's funny. I, I, in my opinion, he's intelligent and uh, he he knows a lot of funny stories. And um, he has um, uh, his uh, uh, own small business. It's a shop of um, uh, women's woman clothes. And change, please. Um, uh, what about? Yeah, please change so you have enough time to talk. <laughs> okay, thank you, Galina. So maybe can I? Could you tell us about the girl? Uh, I want to introduce my girlfriend. Her name is Naoko. She's thirty years old. She's my co-worker. She lives in Tokyo, yeah. the same hometown to me, and she's. Uh, <clears throat> so I think small, uh, one hundred fifty uh, centimeter, and she is very intelligent because she graduated <clears throat> the high uh, pharmaceutical university, and she is very open and friendly. She never smoke, and she is a dog person. It's uh, uh, same to me. I think it is a good person to someone. She, yeah, no, so sorry. She doesn't play sports anymore, but she has a standard type of, like a, how can I say, appearance. She's cheerful, calm, and she's not extroverse. Mm -hmm. She she likes going out, but she doesn't like like a, go to party or club or something like that. So maybe I think yeah, it's comfortable to be with. Okay, ladies, can you now decide if these two people can be together theoretically? Yeah, and. Uh, Oh. <laughs> we happy to be together. 
I think they are good fit because they're working like uh, same place in a hospital. Yeah, I think. I told, I told about my uh, single uh, man. It's uh, his name is is Andre. Andre. Yeah. Mm. And uh, also, he he has a job in in hospital. Oh wow! Hospital, nice. Perfect match, right? <laughs> okay. So you think these two people can be in love? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> This is great. It worked. <laughs> All right. So I am sure we definitely have a match. Okay. And it looks like Olga's man she talked about, friend, and Misaki's friend, that they are a very good match. Yeah. Olga, do you think your two people can be together? Yes. Yeah. Why? Why did you decide that with Misaki? Why? What is good? Why are they a good couple? You said they are both doctors. Because, uh, because he has the uh, same profession. They're both doctors, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, work, uh, uh, they work uh, in hospital. Yeah, that's right. And I also heard they are both introverts a little bit, right? My single man is introvert. Yeah, and I and Misaki, your friend, introvert. Yeah, kind of. He, uh, she, she likes to uh, going out, but she doesn't like go to party or club or something they like that. Be fine, they should. Mm. Be. Okay, and Galina, tell us, please. You were. It was the three of you, so maybe you didn't have enough time to decide. But does it sound like some somebody was a good match? Mila? I I I I don't know. I can't uh, hear anything about uh, girls. Uh, but can I talked about her co-worker, her friend? Sorry, I. No. No. Uh, no. Flavio, what do you think for for your friend? Would Kanai's friend be a good match? Um <laughs> no <laughs> I'm confused about the activity. <laughs> okay. It doesn't always work, right? So when we match make, if we are successful, we can say that it's a match. So they work together, right? Okay. Okay. And let us also take a look at some language that you've used during the lesson and let us decide if it is good or if we need to improve it. Okay. Okay. So I think they are a good fit. Is this a good sentence? Grammatically, is it good or bad? Good, bad. A bad? No, it's a is... very good sentence. <laughs> a good? The sentence is good. It's a very good expression. They are a good fit. So, does this mean that these two people are a good couple? Oh. Yeah? Right. So, something like it's a match, very similar to that. Okay. Okay. Now, if I say, or if you say, I want to introduce my girlfriend. So, girlfriend here, is it about a friend or about love relationships? Female friends. Just a love. friend. So, girlfriend can simply be a friend. Yeah, so I have five girlfriends. I am meeting my girlfriends today. Okay, so it's not about only love relationships. Mm -hmm. Okay. How oh, can I like, make a difference between when uh, I talk? You need the context. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
So if you know that I have a husband, so probably I don't have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> and if I'm meeting my girlfriends, many. So it means friends, right? Okay. So if I say that she is my co-worker, does it mean that we work together? Yes. In the same company? Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is a very good word, co-worker. Can you listen and repeat, please? Co. 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 And now, worker. 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 Okay. Now, can you repeat the whole word, please? Co-worker. Co-worker. She's my co-worker. She's my co-worker. Okay. okay. Can you also say she's my colleague? Yeah. Yes. The same. All right. Good. Let's see one more. So how do we say this word? Listen and repeat. Musician. 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 Not shien, but shen. Musician. Musician. Yeah, Flavio, musician. Musician. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Very good. And one more. I think one of the people you talked about was 48 years old. So we say 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Okay, can you say he's 48? He's 48. he's 48. He's 48. You can say he's 48 or you can say he's 48 years old. Both years old. old. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one. Is this good or bad? Good. Mm, I think it's being. Being, right. Nice. So here we need to say he likes being at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why mm -hmm. ing after verbs of likes and dislikes? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I like eating ice cream. I love dancing. I hate talking on the phone. <laughs> okay? Okay. So mm -hmm. try to remember this. So could you repeat, please? He likes being at home. He, he likes being, being at, home. at home. Being at home. Being, being at, at home. home. Very good. Okay. Right. Thank you very much for today. Um, I hope <laughs> you're going to match make more people in the future.